Hi, I'm Ricardo Basilio, web curator at Arquivo.pt. I will talk about the online exhibitions and how we did it using free tools. Arquivo.pt is a web archive open and accessible through the web. However, that is not enough to make this service uh, known and useful. How to interact with target communities? At Archive.pt, we have good conditions to do a good dissemination, such an open policy, 28 million websites, and community that we can identify. In this image, you can see what exhibitions look like. Someone once said that the squares remind of vinyl record covers. Indeed, the purpose is to draw attention to fragments of the past. Each exhibition presents a selection of websites about the subject or an area of activity, for example, about music, art events, Portuguese press, radio and television, or organizations such as municipalities, schools, museums. This is an example of the exhibition called Memory of Art Festivals and Events. The website is in Portuguese, however, you can access it in your language by using a translation tool in your browser. This exhibition was made in collaboration with the art library and archive of Fundação Carlos Gulbenkian, a leading institution in the domain of art in Portugal, and Rocio, an initiative on digital humanities. The project Art para sempre, meaning art forever, aimed at the collaborative curation of art and galleries websites. We used WordPress.com in the free version and the free theme apostrophe too. The reason for this choice was to show that anyone in his own organization or even personally can make an exhibition of old websites without being an expert in technology and without budget. The structure of the information to describe each website is very simple. A title, an image with a link to archive.pt, a description of the website history, the address or domain over time, and moments to remember. The derived data from the exhibition is an important tool for curating websites. This work, for example, made it possible to assess the status of artists' websites and take steps to improve their preservation. The derived data allow us to create other ways of presenting content from the past, such as chronologies or time travels. This one was created using a free template and was also inserted in the exhibition. The derived data is also useful to show lists of websites, in this case, a list of Portuguese radio websites. I invite you to access the open data sets that we made available in each exhibition. In this example, you will find a list of artists websites in Portugal. Here is some data about the results. 11 exhibitions, 5 chronologies, 4,000 views, and more than 2,000 users. To conclude, the exhibitions direct curation efforts to target communities. And second, the exhibitions act as a calling card and facilitate interaction with target communities. No more at archive.pt slash exhibitions. If you need help to create your own exhibitions or access derived data, send us an email to contact at archive.pt. Thank you.